Developing now at noon, a woman behind bars after police say she faked her own abduction. Samantha Martinez hadn't been seen for a whole week and was reported missing by her boyfriend. But it was that very same boyfriend who police say she was trying to get back at. Local 10's Ben Kennedy is outside the jail in West Miami-Dade where she is right now being held. So what happened, Ben? Oh, good afternoon, Chrissy Denise. Samantha Martinez was never in danger. She was missing for a little more than a week, but as you were just talking about, it was all a plot to get back at her boyfriend. It did not quite end up how she expected. In fact, she is in jail right here behind me in Northwest Miami-Dade. 20-year-old Samantha Martinez, first reported missing in Overtown, was found and is now locked up after police say she faked her abduction for revenge on her boyfriend. An arrest report states her boyfriend got texts from Martinez's phone stating she was being held captive and to keep her safe, pay a ransom, $300 he owed to another man in a botched drug deal. The texts were followed by a voice message from Martinez who was crying saying, quote, not to anger the unknown subject and pay him the money that was owed so that no harm came to her and she was scared. He did not fork over the cash but went to police and after the news of the abduction broke on TV, Martinez turned up and confessed to making the whole thing up because her boyfriend was unfaithful. Martinez is now charged with making a false report to police. Her bond is $500, which she has not posted yet, so odds are she will face a judge sometime later this afternoon. Reporting live in West Miami-Dade, Ben Kennedy. Believed to have been missing for about a week. Miami police now say that she faked her own abduction. CBS4 Silvahara Petion is live at the Miami Police Department with more on why investigators say she did it. Good afternoon. Samantha Martinez is now behind bars. Police say she lied about being kidnapped. Uh, a false report that sent the police, the family and the public searching for her for four days. This is 19-year-old Samantha Martinez's booking photo. She now sits in jail. Upset with her boyfriend, she disappeared with someone her boyfriend owes money to and made up a story about being kidnapped. She conspired the whole story because of possible infidelity allegations to get back at her boyfriend. It all started on November 30th. That's when her boyfriend saw her last. After trying to contact her, he received text messages from her phone that indicated that she'd been kidnapped by the man he owed money to and needed to settle the debt or she would be harmed. Her boyfriend reported the kidnapping to police, who eventually turned to the media and the public for help. She told our investigators that um, being that her boyfriend was possibly cheating on her, that she and her accomplice uh, contacted her boyfriend um, via text message and phone call um, which to get back at him, which led him to believe that she could very well indeed be in danger. Within hours of the story airing, Martinez came forward and claimed to have been raped, but then refused consent to a medical exam. She then told police that she went on her own free will and had sex with a man who was trying to collect a debt all as an act of revenge. Well, this is very serious. We were very concerned about her safety yesterday. And thanks to the public uh, for helping us out. And thanks to her boyfriend for immediately contacting the Miami Police Department and advising our detectives that she was indeed safe. And back here live, Martinez now behind bars is facing 60 days behind bars and a possible Fine. We're live. So the Harapeni on TBS. We first brought you at 530. A woman who police say faked her own abduction just arrested again after a confrontation outside jail. CBS 4's Tiani Jones is at that jail in West Miami. Day. Tiani, what happened? Well, she actually threw a rock at us and attacked another camera crew. Last night, police wanted us to put her picture on TV, but check out this video as she got out of jail. She didn't want to be on TV anymore. She actually attacked a crew from another station, attacking their photographer and a reporter. As she walked out, her boyfriend tried to hold her back. She then turned on him, attacking him. That's when she picked up a rock and threw it towards our truck and towards our cameras. Now, a little later on, we have more video as 
as police caught up with her and her boyfriend and took her into custody. She was just getting out of jail, like we said, Samantha Martinez. All of this from the faking an abduction, according to police. Now, she was in court this morning and was set to get out of jail, like I said, this afternoon. Police tell us that they believe Martinez was upset with her boyfriend and disappeared with someone he owed money to. And then she made up a story about being kidnapped. She had a low bond, the judge said, and uh, had posted her bond. Her boyfriend had posted her bond, and she was set to go home. But again, she did not want those cameras rolling. Again, she did not want to be on TV. Uh, we have not we have not been told if the other crew is going to press charges or, or not against her again. Um, but we're going to talk to police here pretty soon and keep you updated. Reporting live from Northwest Miami-Dade County, Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News. Can't touch that camera. You can't do that. Get into yourself.